A man accused of pleasuring himself on a bus is a registered sex offender who was released early from prison. Tonight, that's leading to new calls to suspend the state's controversial early release program. Good evening, everybody. The man arrested in this case was allegedly pleasuring himself in front of a 14-year-old girl. He has 28 prior convictions. The case is adding fuel to one effort to stop letting violent offenders out early. News 8's Bob Wilson is following the latest developments live from Middletown for us tonight. Bob? Now, police say Joseph Mayberry got on the bus here. It's, this is a city bus just like this. And he came and sat right in the back seat across from a 14-year-old girl. He then started pleasuring himself right in front of her. Turns out there were one, two different cameras that caught it on tape. Once police reviewed the tape, they started looking for their suspect and realized they say it was Joseph Mayberry. Take a look. Here's his mugshot. The incredible thing is, when you see his rap sheet, he has more than two dozen arrests and convictions. We, we found at least seven felonies, going back to 1990, in which he was accused and convicted of raping a, a Wesleyan student at knife point in her dorm room, in her, in her bedroom. Now, police say they're working, moving forward with this case, but lawmakers, especially Len Suzio, he was out in front with protesters. Protesters were out there very upset, saying, you know what? He shouldn't have been released early, and Len Suzio says that's exactly what happened. This is not someone who just committed an isolated crime. He's had a history going back over 20 years with 28 convictions, including something as violent as rape at a knife point. I don't know what, you know, what it takes to wake up Mike Lawler and the, the governor. And Mike Lawler says it is still a work in progress. It's working well in other states, and the governor stands behind the program. But as you see, a lot of protesters, people upset as the latest incident. There were also two murders in which the alleged murderers in this case were also released early from prison. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Middletown, News 8.